couple new Jerusalem artichokes doing well. I think I'm going to harvest some of the big ones that I'll show you within the next day or so. My raspberry's struggling a little bit. Praxis pineapple, look at that. That one's still struggling, but it's growing. You can see the granary in the middle there, so it'll be fine. But look at this. That's just the top of a store-bought pineapple. It's been really, really hot out here. Southern California the past few days. The heat's done a number on my peas, which uh, those were doing really, really well. Yielded a lot, so I'm happy with that plant, but probably going to be going in the compost pile soon. My cucumbers are recovering. I don't know if you remember how bad those were struggling. Those two are still struggling a little bit, but this guy right here, when it started heating up, boom, it started going crazy. Look at my tomatoes. I'm very happy that apparently the rookie gardener knows how to grow tomatoes. Super healthy plants. This one, I'll show you a before and after. It's starting to flower. Those are big heirloom type tomatoes. This one here, I've already gotten a couple off of. They're like a little Roma tomato. You can see that guy hiding back there. There's another tomato with tons of flowers. This is a little cherry tomato, but you can see there's some on there. Look at all those on. I think that one's the yellow cherry tomato plant. Pretty cool. Little banana pepper. Hasn't decided if he likes it here yet. Had one on there, flowered, and it grew a little, and the pepper fell off and shriveled up. Hate it when that happens. Then remember all my whining about my corn? I killed half of it. And then look at this guy. I think he got the message. Holy crap, I better grow, or else I'm going to be killed, too. So I'm getting one corn plant that's doing sort of well. The rest are here, just kind of whatever. They're probably coming out, too. But what I did is I put a couple more tomato plants in here. And this is going to be one of those random things that I lost track of. I'm not even sure what kind of tomatoes all those are. And then some of the Praxis peppers that I got, uh, I put them in the ground now. They're doing pretty well. These are those Thai hot peppers, I think. We'll know pretty soon. And here's the other Jerusalem artichokes that I planted back in the winter. Coming up pretty good. Flowered, flowers are shriveling up. And those potatoes that I just experimented with in that little bucket. Really crazy. And just some miscellaneous stuff that some is dying off, but some I'll be able to put in the ground. There's a tomato plant back there. Two tomato plants. I'm not sure what kind they are. And these are some sort of little peppers. I can't remember what kind. But going good. But it is hot. Very hot. I had two apples on here. One bigger one was right here. My daughter had a bunch of friends over. They were out here having a little campfire, and she said, Oh, your bigger apple fell off the tree. Yeah, fell off the tree. So I'm doing a big investigation. I think that's a lie. I think they knocked it off my tree. But look at that one. Let's see what variety that is. Uh, Anna apple. Remember, this is grafted four different apples, but this is the only one. But it's starting to ripen. Pretty cool. Whiskey barrel, strawberries on the left. All sorts of herbs. Look at how healthy all that stuff looks. I just come out here. This is my little herb grocery store. The only thing I don't have that we eat a lot of is cilantro. Got to plant some more. Ooh, I haven't seen those chives in a while. Wow, those look great. How nice those chives are coming up. All these things just kind of coexisting, all tight like this. Uh oh, basil's flowering. Chop that off. Oh, that basil's really flowering. I guess I'll save the seed. Look at this mint. Looks like the mint and the parsley are going to struggle for dominance inside this thing. But I don't really take care of this all that much. We just come out and pick it, growing like weeds. And the strawberries I thought had stopped producing, but flowers and little strawberries 
Now wait a minute, should I? There's a spider web on there. Should I take the spider web off? I guess not. Might be a friendly bug keeping the other bugs. Look at how healthy those strawberries are down in that whiskey barrel. Pretty neat. Alright guys. Superstar puppy. It's not so much a puppy anymore, huh Sammy? Say hello. You were a star before when you were a puppy. It's still kind of a puppy. But she outgrew the chihuahua. Huh Sammy? Baby? Say hi to your fans. What are you doing? <laughs>